Hello everybody, Reggie Time here with a sharp blast of 30nl and 20nl on Sky Poker. Two 30nl tables, two 20nl tables. Um, only been playing about 10 minutes while waiting for the tables to, to get full. We've already had a good result down here. We raised pocket eights under the gun. We got calls from these two guys. Um, and we got all the money in on the turn with our set versus this gentleman's pair plus flush draw. This guy came in the pot and then vacated after putting 30 blinds in. It was, it was a pretty sweet spot. Tables look pretty good. I'm not convinced by all my tags on these players. I think this Bam Bambino is at a few tables. Um, he might be a regular that I just haven't seen much of yet. And we have Nax19 who is pretty aggressive. Um, not sure green's a fair tag for him either, but that's what they are for the time being. Then they could be subject to change. Probably won't get changed during the video, but um, over the course of time, I could see I could see both of them being upgraded. Um, or left as they are, depending on exactly what I see from them. A little bit of um, little housekeeping to do. For those of you who love the Sky stuff, tonight, uh, Mr. PKR Pa and Mr. Waller O2 are going to be doing a joint stream on Twitch, I think starting around 7 o'clock. Um, I'm informed there is no shots tonight, it's just beer. So, hopefully, it'll be a more cordial event than the previous ones have been where, um, yeah, it's been, it's been a little bit of drama, shall we say. Um, hopefully tonight, I hope the guys enjoy their stream. I hope one or both of them has a deep run in something. And I hope by the end of the night, they're not fucking bickering like Jack and Vera Duckworth. If we can achieve all of those things, it'll be a grand night's entertainment. And if we only achieve some of them things, and they do end up bickering like Vac Jack and Vera Duckworth, I'm sure it will still be a very entertaining stream, just for different reasons. Um, I've had a good week. I've been um, playing a few morning sessions on Sky because we've had a decorator in, hence the um, lack of promise video yesterday. Um, so I've been getting up early and just had nothing else to do, so I played poker. It's been great. Had a fantastic Wednesday morning session where I ran just about as pure as possible, flopping sets all over the place. Another reasonable session yesterday, and I've had a couple of very entertaining um, PLO sessions on Unibet too. Uh, so yeah, it's been a been a great month. I was having a pretty mediocre month, mostly due to I mean, well, yeah, to, to tournaments. I'm down three hundred and nine pounds in tournaments this month. I'm reliably informed, which is a cunt, but I'm still up around. Well, over 400 for the month. So if it wasn't for fucking stupid tournaments, um, we're going to start checking here with these queens on this board when they get called in two spots. If it wasn't for fucking stupid tournaments, I'd be I'd be on course to potentially have my second like 1K month in a row. That's almost certainly not going to happen now. And it's going to be difficult to achieve. Uh, unless we we um, we have a score in the SPT, which I want to see for. I think we're going to value better again here now. Uh, we're going to value a bit small though. Fall to a raise. Don't like it. But I don't like just checking either. Not for lots of two pairs out there. Some straights, etc. It's a bit of a grotty board. Um, we win the pot. So you never know. It's possible. Um, I'm probably... It's hard to say. I won some on triple eight too. I'm like close to 300 up on Sky. I think I'm like... 100 or so up on Unibet and maybe 150 up on Triple Eight. So I think we've made over 500, but it's unlikely we're going to make another 500 in the next nine days. So I think the 1K month is out of the picture unless we. I'm not planning on playing any tournaments before uh, before the SPT. So we're not going to get any of our tournament losses back anytime soon. Um, here with the ace 10 on such a dynamic or coordinated board, however you want to describe it. 
Uh, we're just going to let the ace-10 go. I think our equity versus two opponents isn't going to be too spectacular there. We've squeezed here, and every single man and his dog has called, and we've missed, so sad check. It's a very sad check. I don't even know if this is... The light isn't working. I got a new headset, and then the light isn't working when I mute. So I'm hoping I'm not fucking muted. Here we're just going to fold. Because, uh, well, for obvious reasons. Four X from the button. I've seen this guy do this before. Don't know what he's doing it with, but he doesn't always do it. So I'm going to respect it for the time being. I'm going to be rooting for Ash Watts. Well, Ash Watts or Batso here. No offense to Super Crazy. But I'd rather see the green tag players with all the chips, if possible. I want to see what this guy's forexing buttons with, so it'd be nice if we can get to showdown or if we can see a showdown. Because I know he doesn't always forex. And the jack 10 does what it's meant to do. There's a 3x now there. I mean, maybe he just 4x his buttons regardless. Don't know. Don't know. But that's our job to find that shit out, isn't it? It's what we're here for. Find that shit out and figure out if there's any way, any exploits in there. You know, he's the only 4x in with strong hands, so therefore, we'll exploit that by overfolding or. Is he opening all these buttons for X? If so, we'll exploit that by finding more three bets. That type of thing. Nothing um, especially groundbreaking or um, or exciting. Just find out why is this guy forexing? What's he doing it with? What's the purpose of it? And is there anything we can do to um, punish him for it? Or to try and punish him for it? Good shot here. No idea about this player. Don't want to see about this, but I'm going to. And of course, we get called, and that is a pretty grimy turn. Uh, we're not going to bet again. We're just going to give up or hit one of the two. Maybe now, if he checks. I'm just going to bet a size here that just to try and make him fold anything that's beating us. It doesn't contain a spade. Wouldn't be surprised to get called here with like the eight of spades or something like that. Wouldn't surprise me in the slightest. Or even getting raised. Either way, makes no odds because we've got nine high. We don't give a shit. The small bet on the very dry board. Platonic. I haven't had many dealings with Platonic, but I've been hearing on the jungle drums that he's capable of being something of a bell end in the chat, and that's something I'm a fan of. That is something I'm definitely a fan of. Because I'm trying to be a really, really good boy on Sky these days, I don't get involved in that nonsense anymore, but I do enjoy observing it, and now and again, I'll try and get involved in a non combative, passive aggressive, snide way wherever possible uh, we're going to fire a sea bet here we don't like it but it's very dry board of course we get fucking snap called of course we do um, and now we're just shutting down because I don't think Lucas is particularly fond of hitting the full button post flop one sees hit the call button once <coughs> Uh, 
uh, two players here. Let me spot. Let's start putting some money in. That what's that? I mean, is that even a fucking reasonable turn? Is I mean, is that even fucking reasonable that the eight of hearts just fucking instantly just slides into the fucking board? I don't think it's reasonable. I don't think it's reasonable at all. <sighs> I think I'm going to start need setting an alarm in the morning, so because. These morning games, there's not always a lot of traffic, but if you build it, they will come. You know, if you start tables, especially the 20 you know, streets, you can get in some good games. And um, I think it's a better time to play than in the evenings. I mean, tonight's Friday evening, so that might be different, but I might need to alter my schedule somewhat and um, slide some mornings in. I fucking hate getting up in the morning. I really do hate it. It's not my fucking thing. I like to wake up naturally and not have some fucking annoying alarm set me off. But if I start going to sleep a little bit earlier, I'll just wake up naturally a little bit earlier. I mean, I typically stay awake until 4 a.m. Wake up around 10 a.m.-ish, half 10-ish, and then have a nap in the afternoon. I don't need the 4 a.m. shit. I'm usually done playing poker by 2 o'clock, then I just watch shit on whatever i'm currently watching like loads of episodes of the bill from 1998 onwards on uk tv play i don't need to do that you know i could just go to bed earlier get up earlier naturally and then um a good two or three hours of morning in um at a time when quite frankly most of the regs are probably at work so um I'd like to naturally adjust my schedule. Whether I do or not, yeah. Only time will tell. But I think I could get into a go to sleep no later than two thirty. Uh, wake up nine thirty. Be ready to play by ten thirty type schedule. I could get into that. I can live with that. I think. Maybe it's something worth looking at. Another legend that is um, Matt Bates. He's got a very unorthodox schedule. I think he does quite a lot of morning play at the spins tables. It seems to work for him. And um, I mean, that guy just fucking prints money at the tables. I think we're going to set mine here with the sixes. <laughs> Not going to stab against Marcus. Still ahead of like King Highs. Queen Highs. Random 10 nines, etc. And I just quite simply don't think he folds anything better. Does he fold pocket 75 bet? Maybe if we fire twice. I don't think he folds them versus just one barrel, which is all I'd be prepared to fire. Uh, and then he tanks and over bets. Let's give him a sweat. I mean, the tank over bet from a recreational player is rarely a bluff. Looks very much to me like he's been a little bit trappy, a little bit deceitful, a little bit tricky and trappy. And then I've not taken the bait and he's been like, oh, fuck, I've got to make up for all this value I've missed. So let's just overbet in a spot that doesn't really make sense. For those of you who don't like vape sounds, you probably want to mute for the next five minutes. Because I'm not going to. 
I mean, if someone asked nicely, maybe I would consider trying to mute when I was vaping, but someone was that you might want to consider muting when you're vaping. When someone puts in a fucking shit comment like that, I'm, I almost feel like I want to fucking vape the entire cunting video. You know? Uh, do, 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 do. Let's bump this up with the two kings. See if Cool Beans wants a piece of it. Cool Beans is folding, isn't he? Cool beans is folded. Oh, cool beans is limp jamming. Ah, fuck it. We'll slow roll. We'll slow roll and maybe, maybe we'll just get some real shit things happening to us because we'll fucking deserve it. There's the slow roll. There's the queen ace. He's got chances to bin me for the slow roll. Do it. Bin me. Don't then. I wouldn't have minded that. I'd have, I'd have fucking deserved that. I would have deserved binning. I wonder how many of you are rooting for me to get binned there. Type bin in the comments below if you were genuinely, don't just type it ironically, if you were genuinely hoping the ace came to punish me there. Um, just type bin in the chat beneath the video. Uh, uh, do we want to draw here? I'm not getting a very good price on it. If we hit, we're not super likely to get that much value. We might hit and still lose. I'm going to race here, and if this guy piles it in, I'm going to be sad. King Queen, well, that squeeze attempt didn't go very well last time, did it, in this, in this exact spot. Uh, so we're not going to do it. Not sure if you heard that or not. Hope you did. Aces. We love to see that. We love to see the aces. Pick up a customer. Oh, we're deep as well. Oh, I'm glad he's done that. Because that means we can now make it even larger what do we want to do here we're like 200 big steep with this guy uh i don't fucking know it's a weird spot we'll just do that eh? see what happens he's called again well would you believe it um this could be a big one i'm not gonna slow down <clears throat> Oh, fuck me. What's a pot this is going to be? Well, this is just a shove. Hope he hasn't, flo hasn't got a flush. This could be ugly. No spade. Thank you. What a delightful pot that was. Wasn't that just fucking delightful? I enjoyed that. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> How many fucking big blinds was that? That was a lot of big blinds. That sums up just how my week's gone, to be fair. Um, could not be happy with how I fucking ran this week. And that is just the cherry on top of a very, very, very tasty cake.
I am hearing bins being moved outside. My current wife assured me she wouldn't home until quarter past twelve. It's quarter to twelve. Maybe she's a quarter to and I didn't listen. Who knows? She does come home, she'll just have to fucking button it for another ten minutes or so, won't she? <clears throat> one oh one Brian has limped under the gun. We are just gonna over limp with our six eight. I think it's a situation that merits trying to isolate with such a weak hand, but seeing flops is fun. Flopping back door straight flush draws is fun. Brighton is now going to win this pot. I'm going to call 27 pence more and hit second pair. Uh, do we stab here? Yeah, why not? Why not make a little stab? We get called. Can we value bet again? We could try. We could try to value bet again. Hope you heard that as well. Maybe not. It wasn't a very good one. And I think this pot's big enough now for our second pair. We don't want to make another bet. I think a good chance we still have the best hand. No, we don't. Because King-Queen... Definitely beats Ace Ten on Queen Ten X X X. This is going to be a check call on the flop. It's not, it's going to be a check check. The turn card is kind of aids, but it does give us a draw at least. <clears throat> we probably have to call here. We're probably behind, but he's, if he's any good, he's likely to bet that card with a reasonable frequency. And we're probably just going to check forward with us. <clears throat> oh, the old post and raise, eh? Good luck to you, sir. We are going to try and isolate Brian this time. No, we're not because Buddy Mate has come in with the min race. <clears throat> this table looks like it might be about to curl its toes up, but we'll see. Yes, we're not going to play heads up with Platonic. Don't know if I have edge anymore or not, but either way, in a particularly high rake environment on Sky, nah, he sits out anyway. So it makes me look like I forced him to sit out. Little does he know I was about to sit out, but we don't need to worry about that anymore because it looks like we forced him to. So go us strong. We are strong. Um, Fold the cat 10. Sadly, there's no other tables 
So we're kind of just hoping someone joins this. Hoping someone joins, we'll just leave it there, doing nothing, minding its own business. <clears throat> In fact, no, because I, I sat at 30 on the table for a while earlier and nobody joined, so perhaps we just leave. Bring another table in. We'll try and start another 20 and L because there's more chance of a 20 and L starting than there is a 30 and L starting, I think. So we will get rid of that and bring this in. And we'll join this table. Um, one of the little fours on the button. No set. Disappointing. We want a three bet the ace four suited. Don't know enough about Ash Watts's button open range. I think we're just going to let it go. We are going to see bet the ace king. Good shot to the notes, two over cards. Seems reasonable. Lucky Queen seems more reasonable. Deuce nine. We've got to call one. We have to call one. We've got to pair this min bet. Doesn't bet the turn. Probably scared of the ace, but we're not going to try and bluff. Pot's just not big enough to be asked about. That's rude. Very rude of you, Platonic. Very rude indeed. Um, we're going to see a flop, though. We're going to flop a good shot and a backdoor flush draw, which is going to keep me sticking around for at least one bet. Downsizes on this board, which... It's pleasing to see, because it means it costs us less to try and hit a turn card we can get fruity on. So now we have a double good shot. Uh, tempted to lead this turn. So I'm going to. <clears throat> Just don't raise. Please don't raise. That make me sad. calls and we absolutely drill the river which is fucking beautiful and we're going to jam here he calls and we win 
Wasn't that just fucking delightful? Shout out to Craig CU12 for that one. Twitch streamer extraordinaire and all round good guy. He was the person who introduced um, leading turns that can be good for us, even when they're not. He introduced that to me and, um, yeah, give him an assist for that one. We'll give him an assist. Um, Carl with the top pair of no kicker. Call again, only not quite as happy. And take our showdown value on the river and lose. Oh, chop, go on, we'll take that. Fuck me, we're running golden today. We are running hot. I say we. It's me, isn't it? I'm running hot. That Bam Bambino's gone with the min rays. He's got a 4x, he's got a 3x. This is his, um, this is his 2x show. He obviously has different, different um, tricks for different parts of his range. Uh, lead out here. One of those flops where it's a good board for our range, but it's a three bet pot multi way. And I am not going to continue with my good shot. We've been raised here on the river. Um, I don't like that. Didn't realize there was a four liner out there. Shouldn't have bet. Should not have bet there with the four liner out, but never mind. We've been bet sizably here, but it's about half pot. Uh, uh, we are running good, but don't want to push it. We'll let that one go. Not big into sea betting in multi way pots in general. Certainly not big into sea betting in multi way pots. Light in when they've been three bet pre. Um, Ashworth just gets to win that one with either pure aggression or just a good hand. Uh, do, 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 do. Buy that one half pot C bet. It's absolutely snap cold, which means we now need to hit a five or reduce to win this pot. King, it's not going to do it, is it? That's not going to do it. It's deuce. We were in rough shape. There would not a deuce have been sweet, though. If we'd have had two pair, we'd have remembered the set. Would have been a sweet. But never mind. Can't be greedy. Can't be too greedy. It's been a good session. I'm in for a fucking shit afternoon. We've got to go bed shopping. But the wife bought a new bed last week. Then the Argos delivery driver on Wednesday just ran out of hours apparently and couldn't deliver it. And they said, oh, you can have it on May the 29th. She was like, well, no, I don't think we'll be doing that. I think you'll be refunding me. So now I've got to go out bed shopping locally this afternoon. Also got to visit the in-laws. That is, I mean, I had nothing against my in-laws. Don't dislike them, but bed shopping and visiting in-laws in the same afternoon. I mean, why does life have to be so fucking cruel? I don't know. I don't know why life has to be so cruel, but it is. And, um... Because I'm a little warrior, I'll just fucking crack on. I'll just get on with it, and I'll I'll totally fucking beast it, and it'll be fine. But I'd rather not do those things. Uh, I'm going to call here because we're closing the action, and it's multi-way, and our hand has some potential. It'd be nice to make a hand against John Collins here. We're going to just bet again, and John Collins is just going to call again, and we're just going to miss again, and etc. etc. There we go. Um, I'm just going to empty the fucking clip here because why not? Seems like a shit river to try and empty a clip on. That is not a run out I want to empty clips on. John's just going to win again. Nice hand, John. You win again. Good for you. Hallelujah. 
Can we even call here? We do beat some things, don't we? We do beat some stuff. That's been one of the things that we beat. Uh, two, 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 two. Sevens are going to isolate. Five seven suited is going to defend. Top pair is going to bet. Oh, fruity. First time Jones raced, I believe. And they instantly fold. Heads up poker would not be a particular strength of mine. Uh, uh, no pair, no draw. I think we're going to bluff at some point in this pot, but the flop isn't going to be the place. I think now we go for it. We go smallish on the turn and then, well, I was going to drop a howitzer on the river. Now we're just going to value bet. It's going to go one big line more than we went on the flop, on the turn, sorry. <clears throat> Ooh, spicy, mean three bet. Jack 10 8, please, dealer. Maybe not. Maybe not then. We now have a flush draw, but we're not going to chase it. This table is going to break shortly. My wife's going to be home in 10 minutes, allegedly. And we've been recording for 38 minutes, so. This session is not going to have many more legs. It's in its, it's in its dying embers. Uh, 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 uh. Bet. Call. Get there. Bet. Call. Win. What a fucking life I am leading at the moment. What a life. That's rude. A pair platonic shouldn't have much 6x in his small blind defending range so we're going to probably bet twice here and then check back river that's the initial plan if he raises we're not going to be folding calls the turn's going to be another bet Again, if he raises, I don't think we're going to be folding. We just fold, so it becomes a very moot point. Maybe this is where we lose 30 back. There's clearly no folding of our hand. And he folds. <coughs> Happy days. 
take that against the lead here we're going to call and we're going to old river Okay, guys, so I'll raise with the aces. I'm led into here by the Lawn Ranger, we're just going to call. Got the nuts over here. I'm going to hope he's just got a queen or a seven, and we're going to go with the big ass over bet. Beautiful. Full house over here against the Lawn Ranger. Hi ho Silver, here we go. <clears throat> and he had a flush. And the last time I looked at the rules of poker, flushes did not beat full houses. we are close to the end of the video now because it's nearly time for me to do fun things this afternoon I cannot fucking wait to look at beds that'll be absolutely amazing so we're going to be sitting out everywhere and calling it a day I'm going to check back this turn. Uh, bet fold, I think. Bet fold to get value from like Queen X, 10X, maybe once in the blue moon. One more hand to go. Is it going to be a good one? Is it going to be worth waiting for? Come on, boys. Run with it. Oh, didn't realize just had a hand down here. Two hands to go. Oh, no. Right, so I was waiting for the hand at this table, and it turns out it's this table. What a fucking cretin I am. What a fucking moron. Plot me a set. Okay. Don't plot me a set. Turn me a set. I don't even know what I fucking want to see on this river. Jack. Five. Wonderful. Fold. And there we go. That is the end of the video. Perfectly on 45 minutes too, which is pretty sweet. So have a great weekend, everybody. Don't forget tonight, the Waller and Par stream. Guaranteed lots of fun along the way. Um... And who knows, maybe one of them will actually fucking win some money for a change. You never know. It might happen. It might happen. But even if it doesn't, I'm sure those guys will have a good night. And I hope they do. Have a great weekend, everybody. I'm probably going to do another video on Monday. But until then, take care and goodbye for now.